<laughs> your cap is right here on the floor. Let's see. Uh, date expired? Uh, <laughs>
we'll try it. And I'll be taking a photo before we start, but um, and let's see. We'll have a small awards ceremony at the picnic afterwards. It's a home cooked picnic by the um, Sierra Club's the Southern Railroad Group. So um, and we have a we have slacks for um, first, second, third, men and women, uh, Western and non -Western. So we have five 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 flats, and then we have this. So um, I guess we'll move on to uh, yeah, the postcard or the DNR piece. Or if anybody want to say anything, or no. <laughs> Okay, hi everybody, I'm Bob Kurtz, I'm the, uh, I'm the coordinator for the Air Safety Boaters today. Um, and tomorrow. <laughs> Especially tomorrow. Uh, weather around here, you know, you never know until you get there, so even at this point, I have no idea what the weather's going to be like tomorrow. Uh, the forecast has been pretty good. Uh, part sun, part cloud, it's supposed to be a light north wind, but that's really good for us. Uh, possible thunder showers in the afternoon, that's not so good for us if it's before 2 or 3 o'clock, that could be a real problem. Uh, thunderstorms in the area will be the end of the race for you guys in the water, okay? So if, if, if we've got storms coming in, you know, we're going to have to call you out because having me in the water with lightning around is just, that's really a bad idea. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's Radios, um, the boats are going to be on 6, VHF 6, kayaks are going to be on 13. Uh, those of us who can find the boats, we will also try to be monitoring um, the, the kayaker channel as well. I know you guys have your hands full of kayaks without being trying to flip around your radio. Uh, if you need a boat, try, try hailing us on your own channel first. Uh, hopefully we'll, we'll have something that can hear you. Uh, tide tomorrow. This is bad news. High tide tomorrow is a quarter to seven. Um, that will be slack, so the, the tide will start to ebb right down the river, left to right, as you guys are swimming. That's going to start at about 7 o'clock. It's going to reach its peak at about 10 o'clock. So low tide is supposedly around 1, 1.30. Don't believe it. It's been raining in the Potomac Highlands all week long. There is not going to be a slack tide, and there is not going to be a flood tide tomorrow. Okay, anybody that gets on the downside of the river and is expecting after 1 o'clock, the tide's going to carry them back up. Forget it. It's not going to happen. Okay, the tide is not going to let up tomorrow. It's going to ebb, and it's going to ebb, it's going to ebb all day long. Um, kayakers, we've got, we've got a 42-footer out there for you guys to follow. Big, big white boat that Kurt's going to be on. He's going to start off going pretty much straight north, right off the Virginia coast, straight north. You're all going to be thinking, hey, I can see the radar tower. It's over there. What's he going up there for? He's going up there because when you get out into the main channel, you're going to be making you know, a mile and a half an hour across the river and a mile and a half an hour down the river with the tide. So you've got to get upstream first before you get to the center of the channel. If you're not upstream when you get to the center of the channel, we're going to be picking you up out of the bay. Um, like to avoid that, but if anybody gets down too far, you know, if you're down like past the point lookout point, we'll pick you up. If you're doing okay, I mean, we'll just bring you straight up river. We'll let you get back in the water again. Um, but we're going to have to keep you from getting too far down river and down out into the bay. Um, we're turning into the thunderstorms. If we've got thunderstorms coming in, we're going to need to pick you up out of the water. Um, kayakers, this is kind of your nightmare scenario because I can't help. If you're out in the Mid River and we have some thunderstorms coming in, um, you're kind of stuck there with your swimmer until we can get your swimmer up. We're going to try to get the swimmers back to the biggest boat if we can. The kayakers, you've kind of got two choices. Uh, well, I guess three choices. You can make a run for sure, which is probably your best bet if you're close enough. Uh, you can ride it out, which is not great, but you know, try to stay with a boat or two. Uh, or you could abandon your kayak and go join a boat, and we'll see if we can find it later. <laughs> <laughs> None of those are very good, so let's hope for no thunderstorms before 3 o'clock. Okay? Uh, any questions for the boaters? Have some warning, but you know, as we all know, that if yeah. you've got, especially if it's a hot, humid day, 
it can just pop and sort out of nowhere. So we will give you all the warning we can. Question over here? Yeah, during the summer, larger boats are going to have a lot of windage. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty hard to record you. Well, I do have a, I have a swim platform on the back. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the swimmers can get a lot of them. Trying to get kayakers on in the water. I have a swim platform on the back. If we can get you over to the big boat before the storm yeah. breaks, you'll have to get off again. Yeah. But if you're on one of the little boats and the storm comes up, you're just staying where you are. Once the wind kicks up. Yeah. Once the wind kicks up, you're staying on whatever boat you're on. Uh, and, and we're not going to be able to take, like, you know, take kayaks and tow or anything. Uh, you know, we get into bad weather conditions, and then we get a we get a kayak that's lined with prop, you know, and then we're going. And then we got big problems. Okay. How do you ride the thunderstorm out in the kayak? Somebody can see you. Okay, well, I've heard that you shouldn't stick your paddle in the water. Is that correct or not? That you shouldn't stick your paddle in the water? No. I think you'll be in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not yeah. trying to be in trouble. The other thing is, you can, you know, when you group up, it's like a group rescue. You can lay across the other person's bow, and you can lay across the other person's back deck and do that. You get three boats like that, you'd be surprised how stable you really are. Well, you're stable, but it's uh,
Yeah, when we, when we, uh, when we arrive over on the, uh, on the Virginia shoreline, he's basically just going to stop the boat. We're going to come up uh, alongside. Yeah, I think alongside. Yeah, we're going to put some fenders out. We'll come up alongside, and you're just going to hop down from one boat to the other. Big boat, big boat to the little ones. We'll take you over towards the beach. It's going to be high tide, so we should be able to get in pretty close. Okay. Expect to be dropped off about waist deep. Okay. Uh, if, it's a, if it really is a north wind, we might have to drop you off a little further so that we don't end up getting blown up okay. on the beach and ground. Okay. Although there will be plenty of people that push us off, so I guess <laughs> <laughs> so we expect to be dropped off. It's a nice warm-up. Okay. Okay. Now, one more thing I want to say, um, I can give you a five-minute 
Um, you know, it's a magnetic, it's 40 degrees across. I was calculating for a normal current of like 23 degrees for a four hour, four and a half hour uh, swim. So you can, you know, swimmers, definitely let your packers know what your you know, times are going to be and, you know, be honest about it, okay? <laughs> so, you know, so they can kind of point you out in the right direction and get you started. Um, if you see that red buoy, you're getting close to it, you really can make that out, red and white buoy in the mid channel, you're, you're too far in the bay. The other, um, the yellow is about a mile off the shore. You should be going on the you know, upriver side of that. You should be on the upriver side of that. And you'll see the markers out there, which are really nice. So you can fall in. And the structure of no return out there, that light, if you, you're out there, you're going to be, like I said, it's going to pick you up and pull you in. But it looks closer than it really is out there. OK, I was out there, and it looks closer than it really is. Um, boaters, if you could, you know, we probably need um, maybe two to twenty foot ropes. So we, you know, with nothing tied on the ends, and we load the lower boats in the water. We can, you know, hold each end and drop it in the water and hold the, you know, kayaks. That'd be great if you could, you know, provide that. Okay. Um, and also, kayakers, boaters, really nice people. So, you know, you can treat, you know, treat my captains. I know, you know. So you know, when you answer them, oh, go on their boat and ask them, you know, can I, you know, don't do this, but you know, tell them, you know, what you're going to do when we're going to help load the boats on this week. We'll, you know, we'll team up and stack up the kayaks. You wear the gel coats and wood boats. Try to get the plastic ones on the bottom first. Yes. The yellow buoy is that the yellow buoy? It's a. Uh, I think it's an interpretive buoy. It's you know, uh, bus yellow. It's like the one. It's a sea bill. It's just a, you know, like a little hat out there. And, yeah. But it's so actually it's very, up. very hard to see. I was surprised how hard it is to see out there. You want to be upstream of that. You want to be upstream of that, yes. It's big and you'll probably hear it. It's a whistle blowing. So you probably hear it more than that. How far upstream of that? Pardon? How far upstream of that yellow building? Um, right now, I'd say Right off in here, but 
you've got to get a little further away as the seeds pick up because you'll get rolled right on top of them and they won't like that you bump them in the head with your kayak. Okay? So try not to do that. And occasionally they'll take off because the waves and stuff like that so you got to go hunt down and yell, you know, don't be afraid. You know, because they'll appreciate it before they have to swim back another, you know, a couple hundred yards. So um, be aware of that, okay? Anything else? Any other questions? Yeah, one, one other thing that I've got. Uh, Cheryl didn't mention it, now she's walked away, so I assume she's not going to mention it. Um, we have a six hour, we got a six hour window of oh, yeah. okay. I mean, if you're, if six hours is up and you're like, hey, the beach is right there, you know, yeah, you're good, finish. Um, but you know, if we're six hours up and you're not within, you know, half a mile or whatever of the beach, um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be time to come out. Our experience in past years is that pretty much everybody that we took out at the end of six hours, they were not going to finish, right? They, they, they'd been overcome by the tide, they were washed down river, you know, there was really no reasonable probability. If you're looking like, you know, I can, with a little more time I can get this done, we'll stick with you. Um, but, you know, if you're way out there, you know, when six hours hits, it's, it's time for us to get off the water. Um, and with tomorrow's forecast, we'll be lucky if we get that long. But I, I did just want to mention that. So I have, I have one request from the kayakers. So you guys are closer to the swimmers. Please, if you call the boat over, do not assume that we can see the swimmer. Because if we get waves out there, we got a little head bobbing up and down. We can see you, but we may not be able to see them. So just make sure that when we're coming up to you, if you call the boat over, you kind of point out where your swimmer is so we don't run them over or get between you and the swimmer or do something really stupid. Because a turning prop and a swimmer just don't mix really well. OK, hey guys? Okay. I want to ask one more time. Chip McElhaven is not a right yet, right? Okay, good question. Sweeps, we meet up after this meeting outside, right out here, okay? That's it, thanks.